this is the game I'm reviewing. I'm not going to really show you what it is yet, but it comes out today. It's been around for 16 years and for good reason. A lot of people love this game, especially hardcore gamers. Dynasty Warriors 8. I shall show you how a battle is won. I don't care how you slice it, Dynasty Warriors 8, published by Tecmo Koei, developed by Omega Force, one of, if not the signature series for Tecmo Koei, kicks some major ass. No, I mean, really, it kicks your ass, it kicks my ass. They don't call it a beat em up for nothing. You house everything in sight. Just look at that. Look at that. Okay, calming down. Like I was saying, it's the eighth installment in the series, as always, taking place during the Three Kingdoms period of Chinese history at the end of the Han Dynasty. That's really all you need to know because it's straightforward. Go out there and do some damage. Mess with me! The gameplay is fluid. At first, I wasn't too happy about the sensitivity of the controls. I felt like it was a little too jumpy, but you really need it to be like that when you're in close quarters with a hundred guys. You have to move fast, so it helps. The Muso moves are, um, wow. When it comes to game mechanics, there are some new things, or should I say reintroduced features like the Rage Awakening. If you use the Muso attack during this, they actually combine to make an Awakening Muso. Now, one of the bigger additions is the Ambition Mode. If you're looking for something more constructive aside from barbaric fighting, this is for you. The objective is to build a little town or tower for the Emperor to visit, so you go out and fight, collect materials, and return to the village area and build it up. I enjoyed it because I felt productive and the instructions were really helpful. There's even more to this game, like the what if hypothetical stages where you get to control the end result of stages, and you can also play in co-op mode this time around, on and offline, a thumbs up for that. My general feeling about Dynasty Warriors 8, it's hack and slash at its purest form. I must admit, I'm not even halfway through it with more than 70 characters and more than 40 stages. I've seen some of the others even beyond this review, and trust me, they're even better, take my word for it. Some would say, why would I want to buy what they think is an eye-glazing button smasher, but I disagree. It has that old-school arcade feel to it, which I love. What gamer wouldn't want to sit down with this and kick the living daylights out of anything that moves for a couple of hours, or three, four, five, or multiple in my case? In my opinion, this title is one of the foundations of modern-day gaming. It's why we got into gaming in the first place. There's a reason why they've made eight of these since the late 90s. A majority of gamers are about tradition. And so, if you want something to tide you over this summer, get Dynasty Warriors 8. You will not be disappointed.